Hi, Russell here with Michaela, and we're going through the seated row and the variations of this exercise. So this is a really good exercise to work your upper back, so it works your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, and your rotator cuff region. Now, there are different variations in grip that you can do with this movement. You might start with the dual attachments, so the single uh, um, hand attachments here. Now, the good thing with this is you can work each hand separately, so you see how they move separately, um, so you can fix up imbalances between left and right. As well as this, with these handles, you can actually twist as you move. So you might have slightly different movements with twisting on the way in um, and on the way down. We can then progress this by increasing the load to using two hands for your seated row. Um, you will be able to use more weight with that so you can increase the load on the muscles. Now, in terms of the actual movement, what we'll probably do when we start with this exercise is incorporate a scapular retraction, which is this first part of the movement, pause, and then go into your row. So this will be written as a seated cable row with scapular retraction. So you want to make sure you do separate the movement. And the reason that we separate the two is to train your body to be able to pull your shoulders right back. So we do a lot of things where we're pushing forwards and you've got your arms out in front. We want to train the muscles in your upper back to be able to retract the shoulders correctly and then the row part, which is the easier part of the exercise. Now, from here, we can then, once you progress, do the full movement at once. So you'll incorporate the retraction and the row all into one exercise. It's very important with this movement at all times to ensure that you've got a nice neutral spine and you're staying really upright, so you're not leaning forwards and leaning back using your legs or your glutes. So that there is the seated row.